Hey, Simon here, and I've got a brand new mayor update for you. This new build brings a bunch of really nice new features, uh, some AI bug fixes, some really big performance improvements, including memory and frame spike fixes, and controller support. And with the controller support, uh, Steam Deck support. So as you can see, I'm playing the game here with a controller. I can do everything that you could do normally in the game. Uh, I'm a bit slow because I don't have any muscle memory, but I'm sure people who play on gamepads a lot will be much faster <laughs> than me. But I can place my rooms, place my objects, uh, control things, zoom in, zoom out, control the camera, all on the controller. This will hopefully also open up the game to different accessibility controllers as well. I've tested on multiple gamepads, horrible old 360 controllers, and even the uh, Stadia controller, although obviously the game will never be getting a Stadia port. But as you can see, you can play normally with it and it's quite effective. Although if anyone from Google is watching, uh, please feel free to come around my house and take away your e-waste, thanks. Uh, you can also, of course, use the controllers in first person mode, which is quite fun. I'll be adding further keybinds and such for them later, depending on how many people actually pick up and use them. There's also a new user interface, so here's the new map. You can zoom around your base using it. it shows you your colonists, your rooms, uh, you can zoom out, see nearby threats to your base marked on the map. And there's also a temperature mode showing you heat sources in your base and heat loss. And also an air quality mode so you can see which rooms and areas such as this big empty one have got low quality atmosphere and will slowly poison your colonists if you don't sort them out. There's several new AI fixes for the colonists to make missions easier and to fix a bug where they wouldn't walk fluidly around the colony. Petting has been upgraded, so cats and dogs become happier if you do it, and they'll be more useful in your base, keeping enemies away and catching bugs and not destroying the furniture so much. There's loads of other fixes, so do check out the update notes, and I'll see you all later. Bye!